Hey everybody, hope you're having a wonderful day. I wanted to do an update video on the land clearing for my husband's building. If I walk down here, you'll be able to see how far he's dug out. Here's where the bank was. So you can see it went all the way across right there. So the building's going to be right in there somewhere. So he's got a lot of trees and we're probably going to either gravel all this or figure out something. <laughs> but yeah, he's got some stumps he might still need to get right in there. But overall it looks really good. Except for the mud pit as we call it because of all the rain. We're going to have a pretty big area over here. But I just wanted to show y'all what it looked like before we went any further with it. The grass is still coming in pretty good. It's still a lot of water stays right there when it rains. And one thing I wanted to show y'all that I haven't showed yet is down here. Pig, 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 pig. Yep, we got two pigs. I've had them for a few weeks. They've already gotten pretty big. Come on, pig, 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 pig. And this is the fence we had for our dogs. There they are. Hey, piggies. See, he's pretty big. What kind of pigs are these? There you go. There's some turnip greens. See if they eat those. But there they are. We got them probably three weeks ago. I don't think it's been a month yet. The black and white one is the girl. They're pretty friendly. I was joking and saying this was Wilbur and this is Charlotte. <laughs> but they're both friendly. He's a pretty good bit bigger than her though. They're real muscular. The guy that raises them, he raises them for show hogs and sells them. And then the ones that... Or like not up to par or whatever. They sell cheaper to other people. And these are meat hogs. Big, 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 big. So we're hopefully going to harvest them before it gets too cold and nasty outside. But they love this pen. We got their house right there. And their waterer down there. The grass is looking awesome back here. So I'm going to get to mow it again. I'm excited. I might let it get in even taller before I mow it. Hey, Luke. So, I'll be very glad when we get some stuff to get rid of the mud. This is the other angle. Here's all the dirt. And it's so flat up here. I don't want Luke's yard, as I call it, where he's going to play and stuff, have a swing set and stuff like that. I really don't want it where the dogs are because of them pooping and stuff like that. So I thought about having it over on this side. And then all this will be parking, like from right in here, over to where we park now. And then the building. And then there'll be plenty of area over here for whatever. I'll show y'all what the garden's looking like real quick. I got the potatoes up. I got a like a Walmart bag full. So I didn't get a whole lot out of this garden because the beetles took it over. I did plant a row of cabbage, another row of green beans, and I filled in some broccoli in the area right there where you see some growing. And I put some in between the pepper plants that are, let's see if I can zoom in, right down there. Oh, it zoomed all of a sudden. There it is, right in there. And then the, uh, what are they called? Squash has slowed down a little bit. You can see some. Look like they're needing picked right there. And the tomatoes are starting to blush, as they call it, and turning red. This is a pretty big one on that one. This is Parker Whopper. And the peas have slowed down a lot right in there. The marigolds are blooming pretty good. I love planting them from seeds like that. I did that last year. 
I think that's how I'm going to do it from now on. Because they get really big and they're really pretty. They're a lot prettier when you do it that way. There's some green beans, the purple ones. I think they're, bur I think they're called burgundy bush beans. And there's some behind the corn. They're doing really good. So I hope y'all have enjoyed this quick video of the garden and showing you the land for the building. And I'll be showing y'all what it looks like the closer we get. Here's our watermelon.